As of recording this video, probably about a week ago, and as of you guys seeing it probably about two weeks ago, someone had actually asked in the comments if I could show off Hisui and Gudra. Now I'm going to be honest, this is a mod I am actually very not comfortable running, because Hisui and Gudra typically runs better on these really, really slow bulky teams, and I'm not great at playing these sort of slow bulky teams. Uh, I've seen it with Roaring Moon Goldengo, for example, if it's like a bulkier balance arc type, I'm not good with it. We have plenty of examples of me actually going winless with these types of teams on the channel. But today, I'm going to overcome my fear because I do want to show off Hisui and Gudra. I've actually never used it to my knowledge. Maybe I did and I forgot about it, but at the very least, I've not used it in a long while. And I think it's a good Pokemon and it has some meta relevance right now. Despite typically the fact that teams would go for Archer Ludon, having Shell Armor to get around crits from Rashifus when they're so problematic is a really nice benefit for a physical wall. So today, we're going to show off Hisui and Gudra and why it could actually technically be an option over Archer Ludon, despite not typically having the favorable matchups. And if you enjoy and want to see more content like this, like and subscribe for more. And let's start off with the Mon of the Hour being Hisui and Gudra. We're gonna go with Terra Fairy with Shell Armor, with Shelter, Body Press, Protect, and Heavy Slam. Now, just like with Archer Ludon, we have a massive special defense stat because Archer Ludon with Assault Vest essentially hits not much over what we're hitting with Gudra despite the uninvestment. So we're gonna have a still incredible special wall that can take advantage of the plus two defenses that Shelter will provide, as well as the Body Press support, essentially just turning this to another fairy type Body Press machine like Registeel or Archer Ludon. But in this case, we don't have to worry about being crit from Pokemon like Urshifu, which is a big deal because with their fighting stabs, they now get completely resisted post Terra, Meanwhile, after the Terra, we also are going to sponge hits from Wicked Blow and Surging Strikes very comfortably, making this essentially one of the best Urshifu checks in the entire metagame. There's not really a Pokemon that competes with Hisui and Gudra in that regard, and that's pretty incredible. This is also great at clearing through Pokemon like Fluttermane thanks to Heavy Slam, and it should overall be a really incredible nuisance that opponents will struggle with. To enable our support on this, we have an Ogre Pun Wellspring. With Ivy Cudgel for a lot of different fire types and just in general ground types as well, Horn Leech is great for recovery and sustain, we have Follow Me to draw in targets while I am setting up the Gudra and then Spiky Shield for just Protect. I want a spread that's a little bit bulkier on this team. We hit 139 speed with our 68 investment. This should creep anything that's going a little bit over Pokemon like Goldango, for example, if they're creeping aggressively on that, or, or anything else around that benchmark of speed, give or take. Things like, I think Adam and Bax Calibre hits around there. I don't know. It's around like the 85-ish mark and things creeping over that. We're going to be creeping that. It should technically, I think, also tie Timid Raging Bolt, but no one around Timid Raging Bolt. And overall, this should just be a great support piece. We have some really good bulk for the physical attacks, Chim Pao, for example. And with our 76 attack, we're going to hit a nice attack bump as well. I believe the 12 Spin F and 252 HP is for an Iron Bundle roll, but I do kind of forget that was lost to time. I just know that it was a really important calc special defensive in Regulation F, and not in Regulation F, in Regulation E. So hopefully it ends up being important for today. If not, I mean, this should just be a general bulky follow me user for the team, and it does round out a lot of different weaknesses here. Up next, we have Cresselia, which is going to be a great Trick Room piece. That with Trick Room, Helping Hand, Moonblast, and Lunar Blessing. This is their special defense bump with the rest going into Fizz Death. And with Terra Ghost, we can get around common fake out users. Meanwhile, the safety goggles, we get around Spore and Powder moves. Lunar Blessing should be great sustain for the Gudra. It clears through burns, for example, that might cripple our heavy slam damage, as well as the fact that it can clear through toxics if we do have to take toxic or sleep. As just generally, this should be a great support piece to help Cleric through my whole team, which will be very needed with how slow of a team this is. Up next, we have Ting Lu which should hopefully help a lot with the special incoming attacks from other Pokemon like Fluttermane, for example. With Snarl, Heavy Slam, Stomping Tantrum, and Ruination being great overall moves, we hit our physical attack bump with the 156 Fizz Death, and because of how much lower our special defense is, we're going to go with 252 in order to take on special threats a lot better, with the remaining 100 going into HP. With Terra Poison, this turns into a great check to Fluttermane plus Chiyu cores, and it should overall just be a really big menace to the format being a very difficult Pokemon for most teams to take down, as the best ground types right now are both special attackers. So they will definitely be in for a ride, as I have ways to mitigate their damage even further thanks to Snarl and Vessel of Ruin. Moving on, I wanted to get a really good wall breaker on the team, so we have a Gouging Fire. But this is actually going to be a speed boosting Gouging Fire, as despite the Trick Room aspect, I felt like having a fast mode here would be important. And with Breaking Swipe, Burning Bulwark, Heat Crash, and Howl, this is a great way to enable damage further on Pokemon like Tinglu, Ogre Pond, Wellspring, and our final Pokemon on the team, which I'll get into in a bit. And this also proves to be a very fast option that can creep all the way through any relevant speed tier that's not Scarfed. With 150, for example, with a plus speed, we're going to be creeping things like Dragapult, Scarf or Shifu if they're going to be going for Adamant Natures, and really just a lot of other slower Pokemon, things like Fluttermane that's not booster speed, etc. And with Terra Grass, we can get around different powder moves, especially useful for Terra Water Amoongus with like Rocky Helmet. And overall, this will be a very difficult Pokemon for opponents to break, especially with how bulky the rest of our team is. Finally, we have an Iron Hands with Terra Grass Clear Amulet. I mentioned this in a lot whenever I go over Incineroar spreads, but Iron Hands actually is right now best used for Clear Amulet. 
Though typically they actually go with a four attack set. I didn't really think I needed Heavy Slam considering I have it on Ting Lu and Fluttermane is such a non-issue for my team with mods like Ogre Pond Wellspring and Ting Lu and Gouging Fire and Cresselia that I didn't really think that it was going to be a necessary move. I have two Heavy Slam users, one of which is a Steel type and the other one is a Resist to Fluttermane post era. So I actually went with the Sword Dance set and I think this will be great as a nice Trick Room alternative because with Fake Out I can enable Trick Room and then I can use Sword Dance with Terra Grass to sponge a lot of hits from Pokemon that would wall break me and then Drain Punch and Wild Charge will just go completely free against most opponents. This is great at clearing through a lot of Pokemon that might potentially give Gudra issues, especially things like the Ursa Luniforms. And overall, with Terra Grass, this should be a very annoying Pokemon for most teams. If you want to try the team out yourselves, the rental is going to be on screen here, as well as with the paste in the description below. And with that said, let's see if we can get some nice wins in today. We're using Hisui and Gudra today. Now, I couldn't think of any other partners for this team to make it work besides the team that we have on the screen. Uh, but a commentator had actually asked me to use this Pokemon, and I needed like three more ideas before I finished my teams for vacation. So congratulations, commenter. Uh, your video gets to go up literally, I think the day I'm coming back from vacation. Uh, so this might literally be the last video of my bulk recording session. Ideally it isn't, but it might be. Um, when you guys come back either way, I mean, honestly, the teams after this one get so much more ratchet because I'll, I'll spoil right now. Then it's Enamorous, which is fine. That's the same mod. Then I have Sunflora and Glamora. Uh, the teams, like, assuming Gudra unironically is probably, like, the most sane, well, actually, Glamora is the most sane, and this is, like, the second most sane of the bunch. So, uh, so yeah, fun set of videos coming up soon. Um, anyway, we have team. We have team. Uh, I like, I like Cresselia on, honestly, I kind of like, uh, I don't like anything on me, I'm gonna be honest. Um, this is where I'm starting to see the cracks in the team. We're gonna go with, uh, Cresselia, Gudra. We're gonna go with Tinglu. And then I like Iron Hand in the back. We're going to actually, you know what? No, no, no. We're throwing on Iron Hand and Cresselia lead. Iron Hand, Cresselia lead. They don't go flutter against the Team Window Fairy check. What? No. Stop. Don't suggest that to them. No, no, no. If someone tells them that we have no Fairy check, I'm going to report you. Uh, no, no telling them that. That's, I don't want that. Uh, let's see. So they're going to go for, uh, they're going to go for the Ferrig Ursaluna lead. Burger Saluna is actually a very fine lead for me. Hold on. That's very okay. So, okay. they We can't fake that out, but that's kind of okay. Uh, I also don't need to Trick Room, though. I could probably just lean into Helping Hand and then go for a Terra Grass. I definitely need to Terra Grass my, my Earth Iron Hands. And I could probably just go for a Drain Punch here. Uh, they're most likely going to Earth Power. I'm kind of okay with that. I can... Proceed to get some good damage off on the Ursaluna here. They're also a Trick Room team, so I'm kind of okay with that. And then, meanwhile, we are we are slower, but if they're setting up Trick Room for themselves, that's fine. Typically, Iron Hands don't run minus speed, so they might honestly see that as a route for themselves and just go with Protect plus Trick Room. And that just means that I get a nice boost anyway for the next turn. So we'll get a good Drain Punch off, and that should hurt them a lot. They're going to Helping Hand their Blood Moon Ursaluna. I'm inclined to believe that means they're going to Blood Moon me. Um, they're, no, they're gonna blend with my Cresselia. Oh, that could not have been better, because that doesn't kill Cresselia, uh, because it's actually, like, properly invested. Meanwhile, their Blood Moon's Life Orb, and that's gonna drop. Oh, that is so good. That is so fucking good. We cleared, like, the biggest threat to our team right there. That's, like, their best way to have broken my, uh, my Farig. I, not my Farig, my Gudra. Uh, I guess, to be fair, so, so Urshifu is a really good way as well, but I'm not scared of Urshifu with Iron Hands, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, like, like, that's a very free Pokemon. Even with Terra Grass, it is a very free Pokemon. And I still have other ways of beating uh, the Iron Hand, the, the Urshifu. So I'm not scared of it. Um, I'm a little more scared of it, but I'm still not actually scared of it. They're going to go into Urshifu. Okay, that's fine. It, it's single strikes. This is whatever. We go for Trick Room here. And then I go for the Drain Punch here. I'm just going to keep attacking the Urshifu until it doesn't exist anymore. They're going to Terra. That's probably Terra on the Urshifu. I can't imagine that they don't go for, like, what? A Terra Poison, probably? Terra Poison's fine. They're going to Terra Dark. Okay, so they're really leaning into Wicked Blow. They're probably going to Helping Hand that spot then. Uh, that's fine. If they if they really go for this, then that means they're going to let me get up Trick Room, which means I get a free Shelter off. Uh, they're probably going to go into the Iron Hands with that then. I can't imagine. Yeah, they're going for Iron Hands. That doesn't kill, thankfully, and I'm going to get some nice recovery back because they're going to Foul Play. Ooh, Foul Play. That actually is a good move on Frig. I'm kind of shocked we don't see it more often, I can't lie, because that's like a really good move on Farig. Uh, but I'll take it. I will definitely take it, because this is a very free Trick Room endgame now, and Ludra wins. They can't beat Ludra anymore. Uh, now that I got up Trick Room, and that I've cleared their Blood Moon, 
Ludra is now a free win con for me. Uh, I am going to Moonblast into the into the Ursa, and I'm going to Drain Punch into the Furrig, get some nice recovery back so I take less from Foul Play. They're going to swap here, that's fine. Uh, the Urshifu is still kind of a problematic Pokemon, but it's not too bad. Thankfully, I went for the Moonblast into Flutter, because I can now just Wild Charge that spot in the following turn. They're going to proceed to be Protosynthesis, that's probably going to be Special Attack. They're going to be Speed, okay. Then they're definitely resetting Trick in this turn, uh, which I'm kind of okay with that, in all honesty, because... Even still, they took so much damage on the, the Urshifu. That might even be in, like, Snarl range at this point, I'm going to be honest. Uh, plus, Fluttermane isn't going to really be a huge threat to my team. Special Attack Drop helps, I can't lie. That That's definitely helpful, but it's not really a huge deal. Uh, because, realistically, Ludra took the hit so well anyway. Uh, okay, so we're going to... Honestly, I could probably just dual-target Flutter. I could just dual target Flutter, yeah. The Farig is no longer an issue to my team. Farig is actually a very much not issue. Perfect, they forfeit. Okay. Game number one goes to Cress Hands. That's that's perfect. We'll see you guys in game number two. All right, we're taking on Magmar. Uh, this is definitely interesting because they have multiple follow me Pokemon. Uh, but thankfully, this team actually has no check to Terra Fairy Gudra outside of the King Gambit, which still offensively gets pressured. Uh, my plan is pretty simple, actually. It is most likely to just lead off with Ludra. I think leading off of Ludra actually gets me a lot of mileage. I am Terra Fairy, right? I am Terra Fairy. Okay, perfect. Yeah. We're going to lead off of Ludra. Well, actually, no. Glamora could be kind of a problem for that. Uh, specifically, like, Glamora Gap could be kind of a problem for that. Uh, Is it? Is it something I respect? I could go with Gouging Fire Wellspring, actually. Well, not Gouging Fire Wellspring. I'll uh, probably... I could go with, like, Iron Hand Lu. Iron Hand Ting Lu actually is probably a much better lead in all honesty. Because I could just figure out the Gap Dose. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, because even if Tinglu goes down at that point, I'm kind of fine with it. I really only need it to stop the Glamora, because that's kind of like the best way they have around me post Terra. Especially just getting me poisoned on Gudra is not a good play. Um, we'll bring Cresselia as mod number four. Actually, I'll bring, um, I'll bring Aldrin Fire as mod number four. Specifically because if they're going to go for, um, like, like worst case scenario, I could probably just... Actually, I'm just going to lead off with, um... I'm going to lead off with, with this duo... The Iron Hands Scouting Fire. I think backlining Tinglu Gudra is a better call, personally. And going for the Howl into the Iron Hands actually could be a really good turn one by going for like Fake Out into the Gapdos or into the really into whatever Pokemon I'm more afraid of, plus a Howl immediately. I think that'll be a much better starting line. Because with the Iron Hands boosted in defense specifically, I think that's a really obnoxious lead for them. Uh, the only way that I don't make that play is if lead off with Fluttermane, which is possible. It's very possible, but this lead should still pressure it. They're going to go for Magmar King Gambit. Okay, that is a very fine lead for me. I'm going to just fake out their King Gambit. I'm not afraid of Magmar, and then I'm going to Howl uh, because my Gouging Fire getting attack boosts here is very nice because they will not properly beat this. So we'll go for Howl here, and then I'm going to fake out into the Gambit. Uh, if they're going to burn my, my Iron Hands, I'm not too afraid. I don't really need the Iron Hands for damage, I just need it for longevity. And if they didn't bring Fluttermane, this mod's kind of invincible here. I love how this is turning into an Iron Hands showcase, by the way. I promise you that's not intentional. Um, this is supposed to be a Team Lugudra showcase, but it's turning into Iron Hands because teams can't beat it on lead. Super silly. Super silly indeed. Uh, this is fine. This is honestly very fine. I'm now gonna have a boosted up Iron Hands. Uh, the combination of Iron Hands and Gouging Fire is gonna be kind of impossible for them to beat. Their King Gambit cannot break it. Um, we're gonna go for Howl here. Oh, you know what? Right, this isn't coaching. This is only plus attack boost. That's still fine. Honestly, this is still fine. I'm gonna go for a Wild Char- Well, I'm gonna go for a Drain Punch into King Gambit. If they follow me again, I'm fine with that. It's a plus two Drain Punch now going into Magmar. That's gotta be at least a 2 a KO. I don't think it's gonna be like an Oko, but it, it has to be at least a 2 a KO. Like, at minimum, I'm sure that on the following turn, I can go for a Breaking Swipe into Magmar and pick it off. Uh, so I'm kind of okay with that. Because they only have one chance now to burn my Iron Hands with Flame Body. So, yeah, that, that's definitely got to be Breaking Swipe range. Especially from plus two. Like, I know it's a spread move, but I can't imagine that Mon takes it. Are we going to get burned? We get burned. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, it's still not a huge deal. Because King Gambit, even at plus one, is not going to take out my Iron Hands. Uh, so I could just Breaking Swipe, pick off the Magmar, and then Drain Punch the Iron Hands and be fine. So we will do that. We're going to proceed to go for that. I'm curious if Heat Crash actually does more. I feel like it doesn't because Magmar is like a. I feel like Magmar's probably a heavy Pokemon. Uh, just for my sanity, I guess. Does it do more? I'm kind of curious now. Follow me. Uh, gouging fire. 
Heat Crash. Uh, they do about the same amount of damage. Okay, yeah, that's fine though. Um, Gouging Fire does pick off the Magmar at least, and that's that's okay. Everything was all for something, which is good. Uh, we're going to get Kowtow Cleaved meanwhile. Okay, so they're going to kill my Gouging... No, they're not going to kill my Gouging Fire. Piss weak Pokemon, by the way. Again, turning into an Iron Hand Showcase. Tinglu Gudra will do something. I promise you that was not clickbait on the video. It'll do something in this game. It's a good core. It's a Actually, it's a great balance core. But fuck, why is it just not needed? And that's the thing. All of these teams, it has a really good matchup too. Like, if I just let off with Tinglu Gudra here, for example, against the lead they did, it was basically the same situation. They could not beat it. Because all I do is just Terra Fairy and then go for Acid Armor and they cannot win. Okay, perfect. They're going to go into Glamora. All right, Glamora is actually kind of terrifying. I do need to respect that Pokemon. Um, I need to go for Heat Crash into Amoongus here. And I need to go for a... Actually, wait, it doesn't matter. I can just Breaking Swipe. I can just Breaking Swipe and I can go for Wild Charge. And I can just, I can just target the Amoongus to be fair. I don't mind just targeting the Amoongus. Um, but my goal should be to try and get in my Tinglu Gudra as quickly as possible. Specifically, I want to do it after only one attack into Glamora. Because a regular poison isn't a big deal. I just don't want to have to take a Toxic. Actually, no, Toxic would probably be better, actually. Now I'm saying it out loud. Uh, perfect. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. They're going to Meteor Beam. So that will definitely kill my Gaijin Fire. That's perfect, because I can get in the Husui Gudra. I can start going for Iron Defenses. And then I'm kind of set. Uh, if, they put my, if they put my Iron Hands to sleep, I'm not concerned. Because I can proceed to... I can proceed to... Yeah, I can just target through them and be okay. Like, this isn't really a big deal in all honesty, because they're not going to get into a position where they'll be, like, really healthy. Uh, never mind, that Amoongus takes nothing. I take everything I said back. I forgot I'm burned. Um, oh wait, that means they can't, they can't put my Iron Hands to sleep. Oh, so I have a Win Con. I have a very good Win Con then. Uh, I'm going to go into Gudra. I'm going to go into Gudra and I'm going to get an Iron Defense up. And then I'm going to Wild Charge into the Glowmora. Actually, I'm going to go for Protect. No, you know what? Fuck it. We will go for a shelter here. Am I? How much does Glamora do at plus one before I go for a shelter? Glimora. Let's see. We'll calc for Modish just to be safe. Versus Gudra Hisui. Earth power at plus one. We take that very confidently. We're going for shelter. Because if they predict my Terra, then they die anyway. We'll drain punch. Meanwhile, actually, we'll wild charge. Again, I'm pursuing damage at this point. I'm pursuing damage. They're going to spiky shield anyway. That's perfectly fine. Because their Glamora will just die in a following turn. They're going to protect anyway on Amoongus as well. That's also very fine. Um, Iron Hands. So, how much attack do we have? I think we have, like, what? Uh, one, yeah, 172. Okay, that's fine. 172 attack. We're at plus 2, but we're also burned. Drain Punch... Uh, doesn't kill, but Wild Charge probably kills. Yeah, Wild Charge is like 54 to 65. That might kill at this point. Um, okay, actually, I go for Protect here. I go for Protect. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit of a bitch. Um, we'll go for, because it probably doesn't kill though, we're gonna go for Drain Punch. Because this is like a low bulk set too. It's only like 20, 36 in the calc, and rolls are like 54 to 64 for Wild Charge. I probably do not kill. Uh, so I would rather just get the drain punch off we'll get some good recovery back okay see perfect this is fine um they're gonna spore and they're gonna fail because they suck at the game they are invested though in speed they're not minus speed because they hit before my my iron hands that is a very relevant thing for later on actually um okay so that's actually good to know um what i can proceed to do here i can just go for a shelter plus a yeah, I can just go for Shelter plus Drain Punch, actually, at this point. Because either they're going to Spiky Shield, and my Gudra will go to sleep, sure. But I'm kind of fine with that. Or they're going to go for the Earth Power here into one of my Pokemon. And they'll either kill my... They'll either kill my Gudra, or they're going to... Uh, they're, yeah, they're going to Earth Power my Gudra. That's fine. Because I'm going to get Iron Defense up. They're also not putting me to sleep, which is great. Because I can actually now Protect properly, which is huge. Uh, this might be a Terra Grass turn, actually, in Iron Hands. I know I didn't really think about going for that, just because I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, I don't need to worry about Spore. But I don't have a reason to Terra Poison or Fairy on either of my Pokemon. Like, I may as well actually just go for Terra Grass and Iron Hands and just pick off the Glamora at this point. Um, because that would be good. Um, actually, do I? 
How much do I take on like a max roll from Grimoire at plus one? Um, because there might be merit in just going for Terra Fairy. Just going for like Heavy Slam. Gudra is Suey. So Earth Power. Ooh, okay, that does a lot. Never mind. Um, I could Terra Fairy on it to be fair. But I still take too much damage. We're going to go for a Protect this turn. And then I'm going to go for a Drain Punch into Glamora. And just hope I don't get Rage Powdered. They're going to Spiky Shield, so be it. Okay. Uh, this is still not a huge deal because I could bring in my... I could bring in my Ting Lu. Which Ting Lu can actually just proceed to go for a Snarl. And Snarl will set me up really well. Um, Ting Lu for context. Going for Snarl. Uh, Snarl does 13 to 15%, depending on the spread. Uh, are we minus speed? Yeah, we are minus speed. So that'll do a little bit more. Um, that's like 13 to 16% now, uh, which doesn't sound like a big difference, but it, it's kind of a big difference at this point. Uh, because for context, with the, with the Snarl up, as well as the fact that I'm dropping my opponent's special attack just by existing in the field, uh, my Gudra actually will confidently start taking these hits. And I could definitely get a nice Terra 50-50 around that. Um, because now with the Vessel of Ruin up, I can actually very confidently take this hit. Um, because now Glamora actually peaks at 98 damage, which is a very important distinction. And that's for Modest as well. We don't even know if it's Modest or Timid. Um, so I'm going to go for a, I'm going to go for a Shelter. Actually, no, I'm just going to go for a, I'm going to go for a Heavy Slam here. Into the Amoongus. And then I'm going to go for a Snarl here. And I'm just going to start claiming my damage. Because they can't actually sufficiently break me, which is great. And that's very great. Um, if need be, I will just go for a Protect. Or even just Gudra dying is kind of fine after I get the Snarl off. Um, because the Snarl will be very important, obviously, into my opponent. If they go for Spore into my into my Ting Lu, then that's fine too. Because that just means I get a Protect turn. And I'm very okay with the Protect turn. They're going to go for Rage Powder. Okay, Rage Powder is fine because I Snarled. And that's a nice benefit of that, thankfully. So they're gonna Earth Power my Gudra. That will do nothing. Um, perfect. Okay, they take it. I, we uh, they take a we take a lot, but they don't kill, thankfully. We're also weakening the uh, we're weakening the fucking the Glamora, which is good. My play now should just be to Snarl again and then go for Protect, and then I can Terra on the following turn when they most likely don't go for Protect. Um, but now they're at now they're at zero again. Okay. So what did the, what did the damage rolls now? They're going to peak at like 60. Okay, so that's fine. Yep, I go for Protect here. And I'm going to go for Snarl. We're going to Snarl both Pokemon. If they attack with the with the thing, then that's fine. Because they're going to drop their special attack even further. Well, actually, they'll just die at that point. Um, but I'm okay with that. They could also Spiky Shield, which Spiky Shield's whatever. Uh, I'm just hoping they disrespect the Tinglu in all honesty. Because disrespecting Tinglu is super good. Oh, you know what? They can't, they can't, uh, they can't spore me. So then, yeah, I mean, Tinglu actually should guarantee just win this game because they can't spore me. Uh, that's objectively really huge. I keep forgetting about the fact they cannot spore me because of the T-Spikes. Like, they're kind of fucking themselves over the dual poison here, uh, which is, it's great. This game is definitely, I will say, making up the time from the last match. And we're getting the Lugia showcase that I wanted. Um, it's one of those things that Stahl really does well is we get to showcase off uh, really long games. Uh, which is funny because the first game took five minutes and this one's going to take like 15 minutes. Uh, but you know what? I'm okay with that. They're gonna Palm Puff into my Ting Lu. That's fine. It does no damage. Uh, we may as well be a resisted hit for how little that did. But the Snarl is gonna go off into Amoongus. It's gonna weaken it even further. Um, and then I just Terra Fairy on my on my Gudra. And Terra Fairy and Gudra will be a big deal, actually, because that's gonna allow me to take the hit. Uh, meanwhile, against their team, I mean, my Gudra's not minus speed, so it's still 80. They would have to be a very fast Amoongus to outpace. So I can just go for Terra Fairy and Heavy Slam and Snarl. And then I win. And I'm going to specifically, I'm going to heavy slam into the Amoongus so I don't have to worry about taking a hit. Um, actually, I'm just going to snarl. And I'm going to stomp a cantrum because I can just claim my kills. Uh, and they can't win at this point because now I'm going to go for the fairy typing. I will no longer be weak. They're also at neutral. And with the Terra Fairy, meanwhile, going for Earth Power, peaks at 33. We're above 33 health. Uh, so we're kind of set. They could Sludge Bomb. If they somehow predict the Sludge Bomb at this point, they deserve the fucking win. I'm going to be honest. Uh, they're going to Earth Power perfect. Okay, yeah, they cannot kill. Peak, 26%. So they're timid anyway. Uh, good to know. Either that or they're not max invested. Uh, but Ludra wins. And we will we will definitely take that. Uh, I don't know if I have time for one more match. I'm going to be quite honest. 
Uh, like, this one's definitely going to be on the very short end of the video, but, I, I mean, this is a much more intricate builder as well, so maybe that'll beef it up a bit. Uh, it's probably, like, 19 minutes worth of actual footage. Yeah, I'm going to end the video here, um, because any if I get another game, this video is probably going to break 35 if I actually show off Ludra. But I'll take it. We got to show off, like, pretty much everything on the team besides Wellpawn, but, like, Wellpawn on this team is fairly linear, so I'm kind of okay with that. Like, if that's the one Pokemon we don't show off, that's fine. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did and you want to see more content like this, of course, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Consider becoming a channel member for just a couple dollars a month. You get some nice bonus content. Our current channel members are Zeke, Mio, Rao, Sakura, Oboe, Endless Gadgets, Josh, Get Ultra Player, and Incog M. Thank you guys very much for the support of the channel. It means a lot. And with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's video should be Raging Bolt. I, oh, no, not Raging Bolt. Is it Raging Bolt? No, I don't think tomorrow's Raging Bolt. No, it is Raging Bolt. Okay. You know what? I forgot about Raging Bolt when I was skimming through teams. We have Raging Bolt tomorrow. We have another real team. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Until then, peace out, guys.